DeWalt came out with two new 20 volt stud and joist drills, the DCD443, which is the power detect model, and the DCD445, which is the flex volt advantage model. Please note, flex volt advantage does not mean that it's a flex volt tool. It just means that it will take advantage of the power of the flex volt battery and increase its power output not to flex volt standards, still in 20 volt standards, you know, accordingly. The power detect model is supposed to detect what 20 volt battery or flex volt battery is in there and increase the power. And these are sold at two different stores. And what I want to do is go through today, show you exactly what happens with the different batteries on both models and kind of prove to you that these two are pretty dang similar, but there is some very surprising things that happen and you need to have the right battery if you really want to have all the power out of these things. Stay tuned. Both of these new DeWalt tools have the same specs. Maybe some are slightly adjusted on the box per the battery that they're going to tell you they're using, but they're pretty much the same specs. You have a 7 16 inch quick change chuck. There's an E-clutch on here. They both have LED lights on the bottom. The forward and reverse is in the same place. Basically identical tools. Very nice, very easy to handle. And I'll tell you, they both have a lot of power. Now what we're going to do in this test first is hook up a volt meter. We're going to have this wire connected to each of the tools while we're using it. We're not cheating the tools in any way. That is how we're collecting voltage and we'll run it over to this Klein voltmeter and then you'll see this little display with a number on the screen. It's going to start out at 20 point some volts and it's going to go down from there. What I need you to do is watch the speed the speed of the drill that's moving, how far the chips are coming out, things like that. And we're going to watch the volts and that volt sag comes down. Obviously when there is a volt sag, that's going to tell us that we're going to be getting less power for the most part. But the real answer in this is not voltage complete. It's going to be there's amps and it's going to be the amp output of the battery. A lot of people will say, hey, you're talking about getting more power out of a higher amp hour battery. That doesn't work. To, there's a lot more to this than just volts, but this is going to tell us a huge story as to what's going on. So first, let's start out with the 5 amp hour battery, look at everything, and we'll continue upwards. Here's the power detect with the 5 amp hour battery. Here's the flex volt advantage with the 5 amp hour battery. So as you can see with the 5 amp hour battery, we came down to like 17.2 volts with the power detect and 17.08 volts with the flex volt advantage. The flex volt advantage is always going second and we're using the same battery to eliminate any possibilities of any bad batteries or weird things happening. So it's not bad to see the flex volt advantage have that just touch less voltage. It's simple. This is still a good combination for decent power, fairly long longevity and lightweight. So if you were using this in weird positions, I would definitely opt for the five amp hour battery. Now let's bump up to the six. Here's the power detect with a six amp hour battery. Here's the flex volt advantage with the six amp hour battery. Oddly enough here, not much changed. I wouldn't say I felt a big difference in torque, although there is some because the voltage only dropped to 18.45 with the power detect, 18.31 with the flex volt advantage. So higher voltage is going to, in this case, give me that little bit more torque, a little bit more RPM, but really not noticeable. So the six amp hour battery doesn't do much here for these tools. And I think that's very interesting. Now for the big deal, let's move to the eight. Here's the power detect with the eight amp hour battery.
flex volt advantage with the 8 amp hour battery. So there's some big things happening here with speed. Both tools like up their game and you can feel it from the moment you pull the trigger. The speed on the drill bit is going much faster even at no load. It just seems like something switched and boom, life is good. Now what is even more interesting is that the voltage dip to 17.54 with the power detect and 17.21 with the flexible advantage not that that difference in between makes any matter in this, but it dipped lower than the six amp hour battery, but we had much, much more speed, much faster hole drilling. So there's obviously something going on that tipped these tools to say, hey, increase the power. We're gonna take more out of this battery, lowering the voltage in the battery or pulling more of the draw out that did lower the voltage and they still performed awesome. So to me, if you're buying either one of these tools and you want lighter weight but highest performance, the eight amp hour battery is where to go. The six is obviously gonna give you more runtime, but it's gonna give you five amp hour performance. It's a lot to take in here, I get. Let's move up again to the flex volt. Power detect with a nine amp hour flex volt Flex volt advantage, nine amp hour flex volt. So with the nine amp hour flex volt, we kept basically the same performance as the eight amp hour 20 volt XR, and we ended up in the 18s, like 18.63 and a little bit lower. So that stuff, was awesome because if you're doing a job and you want super long longevity, like they claim 445 holes or ish with the Flexvolt 9 amp hour battery, and you don't mind the weight of this battery because it is significant in the back of this, but it still gives you runtime that is amazing and it gives you great performance. So while there is a difference in weight and it is noticeable between the eight, there's 400 holes that could be drilled with the eight amp hour battery. Neither two or both tools work great with both of these on them. Obviously there's a little bit more power with the flex volt because you're having less voltage sag, which is gonna keep your RPMs and torque slightly higher. But realistically, are you looking for that or needing that on every job? Is it worth the weight of the extra five cells that are in the flex volt? That's for you to decide, but no matter what tool you purchase here, that eight amp hour and up really kicks this into play. And I think that's super cool. Now what we did next was just take a standard one inch auger bit and just start drilling with the flex volt battery because I wanted to see how long until we started to see a significant voltage sag. And I just was drilling a lot of holes and in drilling these holes, this bit isn't overly sharp which doesn't bother me. It's gonna be the similar situation as to anyone in construction. And when I get to the end of the hole, I gotta push. Sometimes I'm pushing harder than others just to get it through the hole. So you see some different voltages moving around in that situation. But the reality is this tool in this auger bit really doesn't use up much battery. That's why they're getting upwards of 500 holes out of a nine amp hour battery because the holes that we drilled really didn't even start to get this to sag anywhere near the 18 volt area. I mean, it just hung above 18 volts, never went below. So that's amazing. These tools are efficient, they're powerful, and they're comfortable. And I think that is what is going to set them apart from many others. The Power Detect and Flexvolt Advantage tools are sold at different stores. When you look, there are very few stores, if any, that will carry both lines. And that might be for a reason. 
Whatever that reason is, both tools will actually light up a little bit more with the XR 8 amp hour battery and both tools will light up with any flex volt battery and that rocks because no matter what tool you buy in this situation, you're getting more power and you can search for deals out there or purchase whatever tool you'd like to at your favorite dealer and know that whatever you're buying, you're getting the same performance. That across the board is pretty amazing. I would not recommend these tools with anything less than a five amp hour battery. That's gonna give you the best power to weight ratio. Other than that, these things are gonna rock for anyone who's gonna be doing anything with studs and joists or just need a right angle drill. I know even people are gonna use these with ice augers and they're out there that is in this application absolutely rocks. You don't even need the larger battery, but at the same point, it does spin a little bit faster. So if that's what you're looking for, these tools rock. They have a $279 MSRP at this point in time. They're new, they might come out and come down a little bit. Leave some comments below. What do you think about this? And if you know the exact battery composition inside each one of these batteries, leave that below. I'll pin that comment up top so people can start to understand the different amp outputs of the batteries and how all this stuff comes together and maybe why the eight lights everything up while the six is just kind of a little bit better five. I was really surprised at that one. And I'm gonna continue when they have new tools out to see what battery in the Power Detect and FlexVolt Advantage line really turns those tools on. So you know when you purchase them, is it worth me buying a six amp hour battery that just, you know, is still expensive, but gives me the more runtime than a five, or should I jump up to the eight, which actually turns the power on? I think that's really cool. Comments below. Give me a like in this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.